Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I did my hair in this video right here. I had quite a few of you guys asking me how I did it so I'm here to show you. So the first thing that I feel like is important for you guys to know is that I feel like hair texture comes into play in a pretty big way in this style. So just keep that in mind as you're watching this because I have some pretty coarse hair. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is shower, clean your hair. And after you shower, what I like to do is just blow dry the roots of my hair. In my mind, I'm like drying my scalp almost, like just dry at the roots. And then I like to just put my hair up in a clip and let it air dry either down or up in a clip. I try to like do a part kind of where I would want the part like long term. After your hair has air dried pretty much all the way, this is where what my hair looks like. It's very coarse and it's very thick. Honestly, at this point, I just try to tame it a little bit. Obviously in that video, my hair is very big and fluffy and that is what I was going for. The other thing that you can do if you're on a time crunch is just rough blow dry your hair. So there's a couple ways that I like to create volume if I do not have volume in my hair. Number one would be a texture spray. Um, I'll link one below that I really like. It's one of my favorites. Number two would be damaging the hair a little bit. And what I mean by that is, say you use a nice shampoo that makes your hair feel very soft. Try to use one that makes your hair feel not so soft because that means that you're gonna get more volume in the long run. So like for this style, I just use like Suave Super Cheap Shampoo because it helps my hair have a lot of volume because then my hair is not as happy and moisturized. And thirdly, do not brush your hair and blow dry it, just kind of crazy blow dry. It's the best way to get a lot of volume. As you can see, it gives me a lot of volume. We're gonna be using the Revlon um, Styler. I super like this. Specifically for my hair, if you have thick hair or you have a lot of hair, I really like this styler for me because I'm a round person when I ra when I roll my ends a little too much. What ends up happening is I just feel like I look round all over and I don't like that. And so this helps me create less round ends. So if you're going for rounder ends, kind of like a 90s blowout, get that circle styler that's kind of becoming more of a thing to just circle around one that looks kind of like this. I really like this one for what I'm trying to go for, but if you're looking for more rounded ends, get a circle one. Next, you're gonna section your hair off. I know I'm gonna look dorky with my hair section, but pretty much what we're going for is just floofing and rounding these ends. So I just use this on high because I don't care about my hair. If you're somebody who has bleached like their entire head blonde, maybe go for low just to protect your hair health. But I just don't care. My other piece of advice is to push your hair straight upwards when you are styling to give yourself more volume at your roots. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've been trying to remember specifically what I did to my hair in this video because I like to change it up so often. I just don't remember if I flipped my hair up or down or a combination. So if this doesn't turn out exactly the same, I'll let you know what I think I did differently. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, I flip my head upside down and I blue dry it and curled it that way. We're gonna flip it and see what it looks like. All right, I think we're getting close. So I have a ton of volume and these front pieces, I can never get them to do what I want. So pretty sure even in that video, I actually was tucking them behind my ear. And so then all of this was coming forward. I think I'm just gonna bend these ends a little bit more. Alright, so that's pretty much what I did in that video. One thing that you guys should keep in mind when you're looking at hairstyles on the internet um, or wherever 
is that a lot of times those people place the hair exactly where they want to before they create the video or the, take the picture or whatever. Even in that video, I definitely fluffed my hair up right before filming and it was exactly where I wanted it to be. So um, just know that a lot of people don't look like that when they style their hair like that 24 seven. Even like, <clears throat> this isn't exactly the same because my hair has temperament. I mean, my hair could look like this one second, very flat. And then if I fluff it up for a video, it suddenly has a lot of volume. So just keep that in mind. And everybody's hair is different, so find hairstyles that work for you. And thank you guys so much for watching.